Good morning to you, St. Lucia. It's time to wake up in the know, and we are at the J.Q. Rodney Bay Mall. And I'm so excited because I'm in a very fun store. And ladies, if you want to feel fabulous, then this is the place for you. This is Melissa's Tweet 16. And I have Sabina here, and she's going to really take us through everything we need to know. And, of course, all the looks and everything we need to stay in the know and in fashion. So good morning to you. How are you, love? Fine. And how are you? Well, I'm very excited because I'm seeing so many lovely, pretty, oh, so many pieces to match different moods. So I'm just ready to dive into the world of Tweet 16. Yes, it is. We do up to 1 to 5X. We do medium, small, large. We do different outfits. But right now we have long, formal, we have short formal, we have prom, because as the month is coming, yes, June, prom July, season. that's the month of prom season. And we have all sizes, like small, medium, but sometimes the dresses come to like 8, 10, 12, mm -hmm. you know. So I would like the mothers to know that we sell prom dresses here at Melissa's Tweet 16. Now, with the store, what was really the concept behind it? you know the difference when you walk into tweet 16 well the concept is when you see all these lovely dresses and you when you come and buy the lady thinks that's the word tweet 16 but when you leave you look like a tweet 16. so all no right. matter what if you're full size small size when you leave the boutique you look like a tweet 16. Great. So yeah. we're gonna be looking for a young Timeless. Yeah, yeah whatever <laughs> time. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Now, of course, it's going to be even more fun because we are bringing you some looks. Prom season, as you mentioned, is yeah. around. Mm -hmm. So we're going to bring in our beautiful model right okay. now because yeah. we have some looks that's really going to be great for you. So Sabina is also going to be our expert. So just tell us about this piece here. Well, this is a lovely piece. I love it. It's gorgeous. I would like the young ladies to come and just try the dresses. And then when they, when they ask the mom the money to come, they will come and get it. The size and everything. It's fun. Look at the back and everything. Look at its flared, its lace. It have the stones, the sequins, everything. So now we're going to treat you with yet another super cute. I think this is adorable. So another look or idea for prom. So Sabina, just tell us about this one. Well, this one is a lovely piece, a gorgeous piece. Look at the color. Look at the stones. Look at the flared. Look at everything about it. So look at this. Lovely, pretty, and also you can get it for half price. It's seven fifty, so you can get it for three fifty now. So, ladies, come along to Melissa's two sixteen to get one of your prom dresses. See, Lucia, now we have another exciting look here, and this is very classy. I think it's also very chic. But summer is coming, and it's fun. It's flirty. It's very girly and it's perfect you can dress it up or dress it down it's a casual look if you want i can see it working for brunch i see it working for a wedding for a cocktail so you can have fun with this one and of course you know the light material this is all what's in so so our next piece here i think i'm going to call it pretty in pink and i think sabina will definitely agree with me on that one <laughs> and it's simple but it's stunning you have the rhinestones, of course, around the neck, yes, yes. the details. And I think all of this is still what's in fashion now. And the back, lovely silver zip. And I just love all the little eyelets going through this. This is just beautiful. And it's all lace. And it's all lace. And all I can say is, oh my gosh, for this piece. Jumpsuits, I don't think they can ever go out of style. We have a perfect model, perfect piece, and I love the plaid on it. Um, I'm still in awe. I think our viewers are probably in awe too. Sabina, what do you think about the jumpsuit? Well, it's very, very, very gorgeous, and I use the word sexy. It's very sexy. It's nice, it's lovely, it's fitted. It has the, the skinny look. It's very fashionable. All right, St. Lucia, now the final look is here with me. And I know this is so trendy. I'm going to let Sabina take it away. Oh. Yes, ladies, that's one of our favorite ones. Knee length, dress, flowered, full sleeves, and guess what they call it? Beyonce outfit. Oh very charming, very sexy, good looking, everything about it. That's a new look. So, ladies, come on to Melissa's 216 and come and get this one. This is very outrageous. Well, Sabina, I want to thank you very much because it's been a lot of fun being here. 
and St. Lucia, seeing is believing, so you need to make your way down here yourself. It's prom season, it's carnival season, there's so many things happening. It's probably going to be wedding season, you never yeah, know, yeah. but there's definitely something for everybody. And before we forget too, there's still also something for the gents, so it's not only about the ladies. It is. We also do free color pants for the men, which is only $75, Hens t-shirts, which only $20, $25. So come on guys, come on have the good look about the, the shorts and the tees. So St. Lucia, this is where it comes to an end. You know, as they say, all good things must come to an end, but not necessarily because you can make your way down here or you can call them. It's 458-4553. Of course, they can. Yes, at Melissa's Street 16 of St. J.K. Mall. All right, so make sure you come on down. And of course, I walked in here basic. Now I'm stepping out. Fabulous. <music> Well, you said, Lisi, good morning to you. Welcome again to this morning. I'm Chayla Mendes, your host. We are here at the Alios Forces, and today we have a new face with us. So I have Solen. I have it correct, right? Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. And of course, she also is part of the Alliance Forces, and something is going to be happening on Thursday, the 28th, and she's going to tell us more about that. So welcome to this morning. Yeah, thank you. So I'm Solen. I'm intern here at Alliance Francaise. Um, and I'm in the cultural tourism part of uh, Alliance Francaise. So I'm here to talk about uh, how next event will uh, take place on uh, Thursday, 20th of June. Uh, it will be the, an historical conference about the um, common history shared by France and Saint Lucia. Um, Alliance Francaise has set up this, um, this conference um, to, to show that uh, Francophonie is a federator of things between uh, Anglophones and Francophones people. Um, so the event will take place in, at Alliance Française at Pointe Serafine at 6 p.m. And after the conference, we'll have a dance performance um, uh, at 7 o'clock. <laughs> yeah. Now, another part of this, and I think this is a great initiative because there are so many similarities, and of course, we all know we do have French ties, so it's part of our history. Um, one of our well-known historians, Mr. Gregor Williams, I'm so happy to have him here with us. He's also going to be facilitating this and just really sharing the linkage between St. Lucia's history and the Francophonie. So, Mr. Williams, welcome to this morning. How are you? Oh, not bad at all. Great. Well, it's really a pleasure and honor to have you here today. And... Um, First of all, how do you feel to be able to share your knowledge and just really share our history and enlighten us on this linkage between us and the Francophonie as well? Well, it's interesting. What we plan to do later this week is to try to show St. Lucians who really are. They say, I'm St. Lucia, I'm St. Lucian, and so. But right here in the Alliance building, yeah, the first set of French people who were established here was in this area. So this is a very important part of our history. But what I'm going to do is to take you through a tour of our history, starting with the French. Now, of the earliest people came, the French were here for 137 years. They were the first colonists who came here. And we've become very much French than we realize. Like on my side, my mother's side, there was a Charles and there was a Shabatis. But on my father's side, there was a Williams. So I'm kind of part Francophonie right from the beginning. We also, my grandmother spoke Creole, my mother spoke English and Creole, and I spoke English and a bit of Creole too, but I'm better at it now. So in this part through our history, what I like to show is to show the connection between us and France, between the French people and us. Now let me ask you, I mean, because clearly history is something that you love, you're passionate about, and just being able to share it, I can see it's something you always enjoy doing. So 
on that evening, especially being so specific, showing our ties, our French heritage, and of course, recognizing and highlighting some of the key persons that may be, you know, shadowed in the history. You know, how do you feel just being able to share with an audience and our St. Lucian public such important history notes? Well, I always have a good time. <laughs> because history is something you keep. History is something you share. Mm -hmm. And it also makes you be it establishes your identity. The history establishes your identity. It tells you who you are, where you come from. And I would like to see a lot more of that being done in the media, in the schools, and everywhere. And I think that if we do that, we'll be better off people. Because we'll have pride. Because that's one thing we don't have all that pride. We should have. We have pride. But we should have much more than we have. And because we don't know enough of history. So I'm just going to play a little part and push and promote it and tell the people more about it That's on Thursday. Well, I think this should be enough to entice you, St. Lucia, anybody who's watching, whether you're a student, child, adult, whoever you are, it's going to be happening on Thursday, the 28th, right here, Alliance for says. There's no entrance fee, so you can come in, be stimulated, ask questions. It's engaging. It's going to be fun. And remember, it's part of our history, so it's about knowing who we are. And I want to thank, as well, Alliance for says mm -hmm. for putting this on, because this is really going to be something amazing. And again, as Mr. Williams said, I want to reiterate, you have to know your past because that's the only way we know who we are. So come out, enjoy it, experience it, and of course, that's learning our history, it's sharing, so you don't want to miss out on this. And I'm guaranteeing you, it's going to be very fun. So we look forward to seeing all of you there very soon. Good morning to you. Of course, it's countdown to the National Carnival Queen pageant and it's only fitting that we make sure we get the rest of our beautiful contestants. So I'm really excited to welcome Miss Pierre Marcel Kiana Nicholas here on this morning. How are you, love? Hi, I'm fine. Thank you. Great. And I must say, doesn't she look fabulous, especially these earrings? Girl, you're going to have to give me that no afterwards, okay? No <laughs> Great. So how's your pageant experience going so far? Oh, it has been going pretty good, I must say. It has been challenging, of course. Mm -hmm. Exciting, however, but I must say the process was very rewarding. Great. Yes. Now, of course, it's almost the day. How are you feeling? Are you prepared? Are you ready? To be honest, I feel like I am getting where I'm supposed to be. I could feel the growth. I feel like I am a different individual standing right here presently. Um, in terms of prepara preparation, I put in the necessary energy that was required. We still have a little bit of work to do in terms of just finishing touches, I could say, but definitely on June 30th, I will be ready. That's what we love to hear. Listen, the competition is stiff because we have beautiful ladies, intelligent ladies, well-rounded ladies. And I mean, let's backtrack a little bit. Let's take it to the unveiling. When you found out that you are going to be going for this pageant, I know we all surprised you. How did you feel in that moment? Oh my, I was extremely grateful, first of all, for, you know, being able to, um, I could say um, I was grateful for the opportunity for being selected as one of the ladies because it has always been a dream of mine. So just being given the opportunity to fulfill that dream, I was extremely grateful and excited because after all, this is the National Carnival Queen pageant. Yes, and also I was just um, really excited and just <laughs> it was it was a bunch of mixed emotions i could say here yeah. well i remember too you were like near tears because you guys remember we were surprising everybody yeah. it was a road trip it was fun it was hilarious and it was so good to see just the genuine emotions yeah. and that really showed how much you wanted to be involved yes, with this project definitely it has been a dream of mine i have been looking at this pageant for roughly around three years i could say so just fulfilling my dreams like i told you earlier on it was just i must say a touching moment for me great yeah. now for sashing ceremony of course and now you're officially miss pierre marcel how has it been representing such a great brand and of course working with your sponsors <laughs> It has been an honor, I must say. My sponsors has made me feel very comfortable and they ensured that I 
um, where, I'm, where I'm supposed to be, that I have all the resources that I need to ensure that I give my best on the night of the show. So I must say I am extremely grateful to have had my sponsors, being that is me, Jemasel, and uh, it's just an honor. Well, St. Lucia, you know what I have to say? This is our catch-up with Miss Pierre Marcel, Kiana Nicholas. So remember this lovely lady and make sure June 30th, don't lose that ticket. It's an already sold-out show, so so many people yes. still want to try to get it. And of course, see the talent, be there, and be part of this experience because this year's pageant is one not to miss. So we'll see you there. Yeah. Bye. Hey, good people. This brings us to the end of our terrific Tuesday together right here on this morning. I want to give you the reminder, of course, that the J.Q. Rodney Bay Mall is still doing their casting. They're doing their model search. So send in your full body picture, preferably a picture all in black, if you're interested in being a model for the upcoming Fashion Fusion Show. You just head over to their Facebook page, upload your photo, and it's as easy as that. So don't miss out on anything at all and of course we want to say special good morning to our hobbies family they have some new arrivals just in time for summer and carnival so head on over there as well so that you can get your deals your hookups and of course be looking really fresh this summer now this is where we come to an end everybody wishing you a lot of good things today keep it positive keep the energy high and of course most of all make sure you come back right here to dbs tomorrow same time and place 6 a.m your leader